This video will give you a basic introduction to Automist. It is primarily aimed for fire marshals and other AHJs associated with home fire sprinklers. In this video, we will explain the Automist system, its core components, and why Automist is designed differently from conventional sprinkler or water mist systems. We will look at the science of how water mist systems control a fire compared to sprinkler systems, how Automist fits within national codes such as NFPA 750 as well as the scope of the product listing and the applications it is suitable for. Automist is the name of the product and is designed and manufactured by Plumis. Plumis was formed in London in 2008. Our mission is to reduce the number of deaths and injuries caused by fire through the provision of intelligent fire suppression. Since the company was founded, the aim has always been to develop a faster activating sprinkler system. Each version of Automist has been improved since its conception to where we are today. There are around 15,000 Automist systems currently installed in residential and domestic properties throughout the UK. Automist is a water mist system designed for one and two family dwellings as a smart modern alternative to a traditional NFBA 13D fire sprinkler. The nozzle is wall mounted within the spray head along with a thermal sensor that scans the room to identify the exact location of the fire. The Automist nozzle is located within the spray head. Each system can have up to 10 spray heads connected. A typical installation would look like this, where the spray heads are mounted on the wall. If a fire occurs, smoke will activate the ceiling mounted smoke detector. Each spray head in the room will start scanning the room, using a thermal sensor to read the heat signature of the room and confirm there is a fire. This ensures the system does not spray when there is smoke in the room, but no fire. Automist is an unpressurized dry pipe system. The pump connects directly to the house water supply. When a fire is detected, the system activates the pump, which fills the hoses with water. The system will decide which nozzle has the best view of the fire, and all the water is directed to that nozzle. Nozzles are mounted at a height of around 4 feet. Nozzle spacing and locations are detailed in our DIOM manual. And custom design software, is provided to designers to create the working plants. The face plates can be customized by the homeowner to suit the decor of each room. Here are the basic components that make up the system. Automist must be connected to a dedicated breaker to provide 240 volts to the system. A small pump connects the mains water supply to the spray heads via a high-pressure flexible hose. The pump is connected to a controller that acts similar to an alarm panel, processing data from the spray heads, and turns on the pump when required. Ceiling-mounted smoke detectors are installed in each room along with the wall-mounted spray heads. A strainer and backflow prevention are incorporated within the pump. Sprinklers produce large droplets. The whole idea is that the nozzle located on the ceiling or high up in the room allows gravity to pull the droplets down and wet surfaces. Fire cannot progress over wet surfaces and so gets suppressed. The large droplets allow it to go through the hot layer and against the updraft of hot combustion gases. Instead, water mist uses a different process to suppress the fire. Water mist nozzles are designed so that those small droplets can be drawn into the natural air draft created by the fire. When mist reaches the base of the fire, it evaporates. This evaporation process extracts heat and oxygen from the fire, resulting in suppression. This is why the auto mist nozzles are located on the wall. Avoiding the hot layer of gas and smoke on the ceiling means the mist is used more efficiently by being directed at the fire instead of cooling the hot layer near the ceiling first. The fine mist particles are still effective even if there is an obstruction between the nozzles and the fire. The nozzle does not have to have a direct line of sight to be effective. We will now take a look at how Automist fits with the national codes and standards. The flow from the International Fire Code down to the requirements for installation and design of a 13D sprinkler system are very clear for sprinkler contractors. 
code states that sprinklers must comply to NFBA 13D if they are to protect individual dwellings. NFBA 13D also stipulates that the nozzles used for these installations must be listed to UL 199. NFBA 13D also specifies how sprinkler systems should be designed and installed. These requirements are the same regardless of the manufacturer of the sprinkler nozzle because the nozzles are interchangeable as long as the design parameters like K factor are maintained. NFBA 13D also makes reference to NFBA 750. It says that the requirements for the design or installation of water mist fire protections, which are not considered by sprinkler systems, are addressed by NFPA 750. It also says in Clause 1.6.1 that the standard is not intended to restrict new technologies as long as safety level prescribed in NFBA 13D is not being lowered. So, the International Fire Code also makes reference to an NFBA 750 in the same way that it makes reference to NFBA 13, 13R, and 13D. In 904.11, the International Fire Code states that water mist systems are permitted in applications that are consistent with the listing or approval. It says that the system should be designed and installed in accordance with NFPA 750 and the manufacturer's instructions. The basis for adopting auto mist can be found in NFPA 750. The latest edition includes electronically controlled nozzles with the definition of nozzles that are normally closed and operated by electrical energy that is initiated and supplied by fire detection and control equipment. The NFPA 750 states that water mist systems must be listed for specific hazards and protection objectives. Electronically controlled nozzles are recognized by NFPA 750 in its latest edition, the result of work done by Plumis with UL through public inputs to NFBA. However, differently to NFBA 13D, NFBA 750 does not prescribe how the water mist nozzles should be installed. Instead, it states that it is the manufacturer's instructions, which are part of the listing, are the primary source of guidance for the installation of that specific water mist system. As a result, every water mist system has a detailed manual that goes into the process of design and installation. This is an example of some of the clauses within NFBA 750 and make reference to the manufacturer's design and installation manual. The standard still makes sensible requirements that should apply to every water-based fire suppression system, such as the ability to drain the system. The result is that a domestic water mist manufacturer's manual is analogous to the content in FBA 13D because it is in the manual that explains how that system should be designed and installed. This is a comparison of chapter titles within an NFBA 13D and the chapter titles in our own manufacturer's manual. Additionally, NFBA 750 goes into the detail of the different fire hazards and gives the example of UL 2167 as the method for system listing with UL. As previously mentioned, it also requires the full listing of that system to the available standard that covers the hazard being protected. In the case of Automist, this is a domestic application. If we look into more clauses of NFPA 750, we can see that, for example, the location of nozzles with respect to obstructions is in accordance with the manufacturer's listing. This means that whatever is written on the manufacturer's manual has been tested by the fire laboratory that has given its listing. UL have recently published UL 2167A a standard for targeted water mist systems. This is the combination of the many UL standards, plus additional testing, carried out to validate our system so that it can be declared compliant to NFPA 750. This has given you a basic introduction to auto mist, how it works and how it fits with the national fire codes. Plumist, the manufacturers of auto mist, have more detailed information in our online training modules. These modules cover the UL 2167A, standard and fire testing, how to check the working plan for an auto mist design, what checks to carry out during on-site inspections, common issues contractors may raise with the AHJ. We also have a fire marshal frequently asked questions section, where you can see what other fire marshals around the country have asked about auto mist. For more details, scan the QR code, visit www.plumis.com or email us at technical.automist at plumist.com.